Greetings Earthlings and any other being watching from any other part of the universe. Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today I want to show you guys how to quickly dodge and burn your images using a technique that I just figured out. Crazy. You're going to go from this to this in probably less than a minute. Just from this right here with the flat image to this in less than a minute now i'm going to put a little disclaimer out there if you're going to be using this technique just know that it is not as perfect as actually dodging and burning your images yourself like you know manually dodging and burning your images using a brush to actually dodge and burn the places that you want this is quite a good way to do it really fast and also a good way to um actually just add some um specific contrast to same parts of your images so you know put that at the back of your mind when you're using this particular technique like i said left to me um i will still pick the using a brush to dodge and burn same parts that you want over this technique but i mean i think this technique is really interesting and is going to get you results in no time especially if you are working with a lot of images and you don't have time to um do everything manually so the first thing i want you to do is create a new curves adjustment layer right you see how simple this is go to um color range and once you get into color range make sure you're using all the settings that are here so i'm just going to pull this up for you guys to see so make sure you are on selection right that's where you should be um selection preview you can pick anything you want if you want uh, a quick mask um then it'll show you a quick mask if that's what you want now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to dodge now with dodging what we want to do is select our highlights and once you've selected your highlights that's like the top of the head you guys can see what's showing then you can now increase or reduce your fuzziness to get more into the picture or get less so for this particular image i am going to increase the fuzziness so i can get more um surface area to work with so somewhere around one or two is fine because i still want to dodge um some parts of her face here um maybe just increase the fuzziness just a bit further as you guys can see looks really good so at this point i can see where i'm going to be dodging you guys can see it's getting a little bit of the background but that's fine we can always mask that out that's not a problem okay so right now i'm just going to click okay and what it's going to do is that you can see it has created a selection so you guys can see it's created a selection for me and all i have to do right now is just increase this and let's see our before and our after you guys can see before after so right now we've dodged all the highlights on her face can you see that very simple easy way right now the next thing you want to do is create another curves adjustment layer right and go to select then go to color range so this is this is almost like a very simple way of creating luminosity mask right then right now i'm going to pick the shadows as you guys can see maybe we'll pick the shadows because this image is a lot darker it's just getting everything right so we can reduce our fuzziness to really limit the spread of the um of the selection so go all the way down now this is you know not good enough um we need to get more of all these places in there right now if you want you can create a third one and even go into the darker parts right but you know this is totally fine for now so i'm just going to click ok and now that I've clicked OK, what I'm going to do is just pull down this. Not too much, you know, somewhere around this is fine. So now I'm going to put both of them in a group, Command G. And let's see our before. Look at our image, looking nice and smooth. Then after, you guys can see that we've added a lot of contrast to uh image now like i said this is a very simple way to dodge and burn if for some reason you really do not have a lot of time and you are not trying to be so specific with your dodge and burn you just want to use like a general method to dodge and burn i have used this on a couple of images and i absolutely love it it works very well but sometimes i still prefer to actually use the brush technique where i'll go inside and actually go over 
um, certain parts of my image um, so that I can be a lot more accurate. This is just a general way to add contrast and you know kind of like dodge and burn your image so i hope you guys really love it another thing you can do once you've done this is that you can always you know mess around with your opacity to find what works for you um in the group or as a group or individually so you can always reduce the opacity of um the dark parts if you feel like it is too much so that's about it very simple very easy way to and burn. So anyways, thank you for watching today's video. If you want to retouch better and retouch faster, definitely check out my retouching essentials pack. If you want amazing skin tones, then check out my um, skin tone lots for both dark and light skin tones. They are amazing. You would absolutely love them because I use them all the time. And yeah, just check out all my videos on my YouTube page if you want to improve your retouching and get really, really good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you absolutely love this technique and if you are going to use this technique. Let me know. Thanks so much. Um, also, subscribe so you can see all my videos when I put them up. Hit the bell icon too. Next to the subscribe button. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out, guys.